Okay, let's go ahead and uh, show you how to change the front signal lights on your Yamaha V-Stars. Uh, it's a real simple process, so just uh, pay close attention to the step-by-step -step here and we'll get started on her. Okay, we'll start with the uh, custom model first. If you have the classic model, go ahead and just fast forward through this section. So anyway, the first thing we do want to do on the custom model is we want to remove these stock uh, signal lights. It's real simple. What we want to do first is uh, there's a keeper here on the, on the wire. We want to pop that out of the little hole there. And then there's a bolt that goes down through here that uh, mounts the rubber flange here to the triple clamp. And there's a nut down below, so go ahead and remove that. And then on the other side of the rubber mount there, on this side over here, on the back side there's a bolt that you've got to remove, and that'll allow you to go ahead and just slip this off. So go ahead and slip those off, and then we'll continue on. Oh, go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll show you how to take the uh, lights out of the headlight. Next, we want to remove the headlight uh, housing from the headlight bucket here. So the way you do that is take these two screws out. There's one here and one on the other side. Go ahead and remove those. And then we'll go ahead and just lift this up out just a little bit like that. Then just kind of pull down and rock it a little bit. And it should release from the top of the housing there. So go ahead and do that. Then just let that hang there. And we'll go ahead and show you how to disconnect the wires. Next we want to unplug all these wires on the uh, inside of the housing here. Uh, obviously you can't unplug the headlights, so leave those alone, but uh, there's uh, two blues, two blacks, a green and a brown wire. So go ahead and unplug those from their receptacles here. Uh, sometimes you have to use pliers to grab a hold of that, uh, the male end to pull it out. They're get, sometimes they're kind of snug, so go ahead and unplug those. And then there's a big kind of a fat wire tie back here in the back. Uh, if there's a little tab that, uh, right at the, at the junction there where it plugs in, if you want to go ahead and push that little tab, you can actually pull that uh, wire tie apart like that. You see the end there? And after you do that, then you can go ahead and just take your signal lights out. So go ahead and take your signal lights and pull them out. And then we'll continue on. Okay, let's go ahead and do the classic model now. Uh, it's pretty simple. What you do is you just pop this bracket off. This pops off. And then under this bar, there, or under the headlight here, there's two uh, Allen screws, one there and one over here. Just go ahead and take those out, and then uh, just go ahead and let this bar just hang down out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and take the uh, front uh, headlight housing off. Okay, to get the headlight uh, housing off from the bucket, you just take the screws out of uh, both sides. There's one here and one on the other side. Uh, don't take the ones out of the front here. These are the adjustment for the headlights, so don't take those out, just these ones on the side. So go ahead and pop those out, and then you should be able to just to pull the bottom of the headlight ring out. And then I'll go ahead and back this out so you can see it. And then you just go ahead and kind of work that back and forth. Lift up on it, and it should just come lift up. Just lift up and off. And then go ahead and let that hang down there. And then we'll disconnect the wires. I've gone ahead and unplugged the headlight from the uh, connector here. It's just a little easier to work around here with the headlight out, and it's also kind of heavy. So do that, and then let's go ahead and unplug these wires. Uh, you may want to use pliers to pull those little connectors out, because sometimes they get pretty sticky in there. So go ahead and uh, undo all these connectors. And then after you do that, you should be able to go ahead and lower your uh, signal light bar out of the way and take it off. So do that, and then we'll go ahead and hook up the new lights. Okay, grab your signal lights, and uh, what we want to do is we want to splice the right wires to the signal lights next. Uh, a quick note on the crimping. Uh, on the wires coming out of the signal lights, they're real small, so what I like to do is I like to take the wire like this. I, you know, go ahead and strip a little extra off the wire, and then just double it over like that. Kind of double it over, and then kind of push it real compact with your fingers there. That way, when you shove that into the crimper, there's a little more wire there to... Uh, crimp inside the little barrel. So anyway, do that and then grab the signal lights and all the wire and we'll continue. Okay, what I'm going to show you is the finished product here. That way you can go ahead and uh, do the crimping yourself. But anyway, uh, this is the uh, uh, how they should look for the classic model. Now on the classic uh, front bracket, you'll need the ground wire on the light. This is the ground wire here coming off the side. Now on the, on the custom model, you won't need that. So go ahead and ignore that on the custom. Anyway, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and splice the wires just like this. So you'll notice the red wire coming out. 
Okay, the red wire should have the green on the one side. So go ahead and uh, splice the red and the green on that light. And then on the other wire, the black wire, you want to go ahead and splice the blue wire to that. Basically what it is is the black wire is the, uh, the dimmer of the two filaments. That, that's the, your running light. That'll be the blue and then the red will be the green. Okay, that's on the one side. Then on the other side, you'll have the same thing on the black. You'll have the blue and the black together. And then on the other side, you'll have the red and the brown. So go ahead and splice those like that and then we'll continue. Okay, in your kit you have some small heat shrink tubing. Uh, go ahead and snip off an uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half pieces. And let's go ahead and just heat shrink over the uh, connectors that you made there. So go ahead and do that. Uh, before you heat shrink, give them a good tug. Make sure they're crimped really well. And then uh, make sure the heat shrink shrinks up nice and doesn't slide on the wire once you get finished. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll continue on. Okay, let's go ahead and mount the lights to the brackets. Uh, the reason we put the slot in the uh, brackets like this is so that you can mount the lights and disassemble them and everything without uh, having to redo all your crimpers and stuff. So it's kind of a cool idea and it makes it a lot easier. So anyway, the way we do it is just go ahead and unscrew the uh, bolt from the, from the signal light. Okay, now the, what you want to do is you want to have the uh, star washer next to the light. The reason we do that is uh, so when you mount these, the, it, that really grips the signal light and keeps it from twisting so that you don't have to overdo the, uh, when you overdo this hollow bolt when you tighten things up.